Now to talk to us about the cold snap that's set to grip the country, we're joined by the South African Weather Service forecaster Edward Engelbrach. Uh, Edward, a very good evening to you. Thank you for your time. Motorists and residents alike have been urged to exercise that little bit of caution. What are we what up are we against? Up um, yes, good evening. Um, so, uh, yeah, to, uh, from uh, since yesterday morning, we've had a, um, a cold front uh, making landfall with the Western Cape. Um, and during the course of uh, yesterday and today, um, that has now uh, um, spread over um, eastwards, over the, the Western Cape, part of the Eastern Cape as well. Um, and it looks like that's going to be strengthening overnight into um, uh, an in quite intense uh, cut-off low pressure, so a cold vortex system. Um, and uh, and that usually um, is accompanied, like uh, we've heard already, is often occurred, uh, accompanied by um, by heavy snowfall, very cold uh, temperatures, um, heavy rainfall, strong winds as well, especially along the coastlines, um, uh, and then a possibility with severe thunderstorms as well. So a quite intense system with a lot of adverse weather conditions um, that will remain for the next uh, two days over the country. You, you talk you, you about talk the low pressure system uh, impacting all provinces, but we keep hearing that uh, it's all provinces except Limpopo. Why is that? Um, yes, so it's um, the, the, the low pressure is going to be centered over the, um, the central parts of the country um, and most of the moisture and cold air is coming from, uh, from the ocean, from uh, uh, so from the south uh, being advected in over the country. Um, Limpopo is quite far, far north of the country um, and although the temperatures will still drop um, uh, in Limpopo, uh, we don't expect um, as severe uh, weather conditions there um, just because of the fact that it's uh, quite far north of the country. So with all these erratic weather patterns, uh, they're more frequent and becoming more intense. Uh, you've issued a detailed warning system in place, the, the yellow level warning. Perhaps help us understand South Africa weather's warning alert system uh, and uh, where we're standing as you and I speak this evening. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, can you just uh, quickly repeat that? The sense of the weather warnings, the yellow level warning systems, what it means and where we're standing this evening as you and I speak. Yes, so at the moment uh, for today, um, uh, we do have mainly um, yellow warnings and orange warnings, and it's going to be mostly for, um, uh, it's going to be really taking effect uh, tomorrow um, on Monday and Tuesday. Um, and so uh, with that, we have um, a whole yellow level warnings, um, especially for uh, regarding snowfall uh, as well as uh, disruptive rain. Um, uh, that's going to be level two. Two warnings um, for parts of uh, parts of the um, extreme south, the southeastern parts of uh, Northern Cape, the extreme southern parts of Free State, um, covering most of the um, of the Eastern Cape, and, and then as well, uh, a yellow level two warning tomorrow for severe thunderstorms over um, over parts of KwaZulu Natal. Um, but then we have uh, orange warnings as well. Um, that's going to uh, level five to level six as well. Remember, we have a maximum level of level 10. So level 5 and level 6 um, are looking at um, quite uh, um, significant impacts, whereas um, uh, yellow warnings are, are, are minor impacts. Um, so um, so that most of the orange warnings are going to be, uh, we're looking at, uh, is being located in the Eastern Cape. So that's where most of our, um, the intense weather is going to take place. So the impact, the impact of, of snowfall affecting um, traffic being brought to a standstill last year, we saw farmers having issues with livestock. Is this uh, something we should be accustomed to now when it comes to snow? Is this going to be a, a regular as the, the different uh, weather warnings come into effect during the winter season? Um, yes, so um, we do, uh, each year we, we do get um, uh, two or three um, quite intense cut of low pressure systems like the one we have now. Um, so uh, especially during winter and our transition seasons, um, this is uh, 
I wouldn't say a common occurrence, but we do get about two or three very intense systems uh, each year. So uh, we can expect it again still, uh, for the for the coming winter, um, maybe one or two very intense systems. It's very difficult to say exactly how many um, so far in advance. Um, but yes, for sure, we can we can expect that. Um, we can expect more snow again um, during the winter, especially for those high-lying areas um, in the Eastern Cape, uh, usually KwaZulu-Natal as well, and then parts of the um, of the Western Cape. You say this uh, gives us a preview of, of what to expect for the rest of the winter season. Um, yes, so for the rest of the winter season, um, I think we do look, we're do. looking at about, um, uh, as far as the seasonal forecast is concerned, um, uh, fairly, um, uh, our, our rainfall should, should be just around about average um, for the Western Cape. Um, remember, usually uh, the rest of the country remains dry during winter, um, except for the Eastern Cape, which is um, which received most of its rainfall uh, um during uh, during winter rain, uh, winter season um but uh, as far as the outlook goes it looks like it's going to be fairly um uh, average rainfall season um in terms of systems like these uh, again uh, unfortunately we can't really give a uh, uh, give an accurate outlook on that but just based on past experience um we can expect uh, about two or three more of these systems uh, moving over uh, in winter. Um, as far as the system is concerned, it's going to mostly last um, uh, uh, for Monday and Tuesday. Um, and then we should see a clearing up uh, from Tuesday evening uh, into Wednesday. Um, but then still for the rest of the week, um, temperatures will remain um, uh, uh, quite cold. Uh, maximums only reaching into the mid to low teens and uh, minimums uh, will reach into the low teens, even freezing levels, in, uh, especially over the central high-lying areas of South Africa. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, perhaps leave it there for now. Speaking there to weather service forecaster, South African weather service forecaster Edward Engelbrecht, uh, really giving a warning. Pull out your winter coats. It's uh, going to be snappy for quite some time.